A Buddhist temple is a unique place, a blessed and holy place, that will have a positive influence on millions of people now and in the future. It is a perfect environment for the growth of true human qualities such as love, compassion and wisdom. In 1992, the first international course was held at Manjushri Center, which was attended by people from many different countries, keen to listen to Geshe Kelsang's teachings. The numbers attending were too large to accommodate in the main building, so a marquee tent was hired and transformed into a temporary temple for the event. This was to be the first Kadampa Buddhist Summer Festival and the seed of the first Kadampa Buddhist Temple and the International Temples Project. After the event, Geshe Kelsang suggested building a permanent temple and showed how it should be designed based on the traditional mandala of Buddha Haruka. Plans were drawn up and approved in 1994 and in 1995, work began on the site of the old kitchen garden. The temple was constructed by a largely volunteer workforce of Kadampa Buddhists, with Geshe Kelsang being closely involved at every stage. Nothing like the temple had ever been built in the West before, so everything, right down to the door track, had to be specially designed and fitted with precision. The target was to complete the basic structure in time for the 1997 Summer Festival. In the race to accomplish this, the builders worked through the night in all kinds of weather. In the summer of 1997, Two and a half years after work had commenced, the basic structure was finished and the temple consecrated at a special ceremony presided over by Geshe Kelsang. The temple was dedicated to world peace. Two years later, the interior and exterior decoration was completed. While the temple was under construction, another group of Kadampas were training in the arts of statue making and preparing all the adornments for the temple walls. An Italian sculptor was commissioned to sculpt the main statues in clay. Working to designs by Geshe Kelsang, he sculpted an eight-foot Buddha and his two bodhisattva disciples, Manjushri and Maitreya. These were eventually cast in bronze, with the Buddha statue being the largest bronze Buddha ever cast in the West. Throughout the process, Kadampa students worked alongside the sculptor, learning the arts of statue making. They also prepared the wall mountings of the goddesses and other plaques for the interior and exterior walls. These activities were the seeds of the present day Kadampa studio at Manjushri Center, which prepares statues and other adornments for Kadampa Buddhist temples around the world. The design of the temple is based on the Mandala Palace of Buddha Haruka, the Supreme Buddha of Compassion. Every aspect symbolizes the spiritual path to enlightenment. Around the outer walls of the temple are eight sets of eight auspicious signs, symbolizing how to progress on the spiritual path.
The temple has four doorways, which symbolize the four ways to enter the path to liberation. They remind us that we need to seek liberation from suffering by entering a spiritual path. Above each of the four doorways, there is a male and female deer with a dharma wheel between them, symbolizing the final stages of the path to enlightenment. The male deer symbolizes the experience of great bliss, the female deer the realization of ultimate truth, and the wheel the union of these two realizations. At the very top of the temple is a golden five-pronged vajra, symbolizing the five omniscient wisdoms of a Buddha. This is the highest attainment and the completion of the spiritual path. In the center of the ceiling is a vast dharma wheel inside a lantern tower. This contains precious scriptures symbolizing the teachings of Buddha spreading throughout the world. Around the inside of the lantern are eight double vajras symbolizing protection from obstacles of the four directions. Around the upper walls are eight sets of five plaques, symbolizing the five Buddha families, who are the five completely purified aggregates of body and mind, and the five omniscient wisdoms. Around the walls of the temple are three sets of 16 knowledge goddesses offering pure enjoyments to the deities of the mandala. Their playful manner signifies the completely pure happiness and joy experienced by those who abide in the pure land, free from all fear, suffering and disturbing conceptions. The main shrine houses the statues of Buddha and his two bodhisattva disciples, together with all the other holy beings of Kadampa Buddhism. These holy beings are also depicted in paintings hanging on the temple walls. The shrine also includes the complete collection of books by Venerable Geshe Kelsen Gyatso and a golden stupa. The statues, books and stupa symbolize the body, speech and mind of Buddha respectively. These are the attainments all Kadampa Buddhists strive to accomplish. The cabinet to the left of the main shrine houses a three-dimensional representation of the mandala or celestial mansion of Buddha Haruka. The first of its kind in the West, this holy object was constructed by Kadampa practitioners under the direction of Venerable Geshe Kelsen Gyatso. The mandala serves as an aid to visualization and a source of blessings and inspiration for practitioners. The cabinet to the right of the main shrine houses a collection of precious texts of Buddha's teachings and commentaries by great Buddhist masters through the centuries. The central feature of the temple is the teaching throne, the seat of Venerable Geshe Kelsen Gyatso, the founder of the New Kadampa tradition, International Kadampa Buddhist Union. The temple is open to everyone. Already many thousands of people have visited this holy place, from tourists who come to admire the beautiful structure and artwork, to schoolchildren on educational visits. 
everyone who visits is struck by the peace and tranquility that pervades the temple. According to Buddhist beliefs, just looking at the temple or the blessed statues within places special impressions on the mind that later ripen as an experience of deep inner peace. Each year, thousands of people from all over the world come to this holy place. They come to attend the annual spring and summer Kadampa Buddhist festivals, as well as other special events such as the International Kadampa Buddhist Teacher Training Program. Regular teachings and meditations are also held in the temple, to which everyone is invited. Geshe Kelsang has founded the International Temples Project with the vision to develop a Kadampa temple for world peace in every major city in the world, and many have already been completed or are presently under construction. These temples take many forms. Some, such as those in New York and Sao Paulo, are built according to the same traditional design as the temple at Manjushri Center. Others are adapted from existing buildings, acquired for Kadampa meditation centers around the world, such as the temples in Toronto, Le Mans, Berlin, Zurich, Texas, and Melbourne. Yet others are incorporated within Hotel Kadampas, such as those in Malaga and Tuscany. Whatever form they take, Kadampa temples are holy places, open for everyone to enjoy. They are pure lands in our troubled world, offering doorways to inner peace for all who visit them. <laughs>